Hello, welcome to my channel. In this second part, we are going to discuss about the peninsular rivers, which are non-perennial in nature. So, non-perennial rivers are rivers which are not snow-fed or which has not appeared from glaciers and they depend mostly on rainfall for their water supply and they dry up especially during the summer months. That is why they are not very navigable and they are also not very prone to floods. River Narmada River Narmada is around 1312 kilometers long river. It rises on the Amar Kantak plateau in the Maikal range and has a height of about 1060 meters. It is a west flowing river. It flows through the valleys between the Vindhya range and the Satpura ranges. At a region called Bhairaghat, it drops through a height of 15 meters and it forms the famous Marble Falls which is a waterfall. It then flows through a very deep gorge and then forms an estuary and it then flows into the Gulf of Khambath. So what is an estuary? Estuary is actually the mouth of the river where the fresh water from the river and the streams they mix with the salty water of the ocean. So this is a partially enclosed region. Both Narmada and Tapi are west flowing rivers. They flow into the Arabian Sea. Tapi which is 724 kilometers long is also known as Tapti river. It rises in the Satpura hills and flows westwards north of Surat and into the Gulf of Khambat which is in Gujarat. The Purna, Girna and Panjara are its tributaries. The Mahanadi river which is 858 kilometers long, it had the source or rises from the Maikala hills in Madhya Pradesh. It flows eastwards in, and flows into the state of Orissa. It also forms a very large delta and deposits a lot of alluvial soil before it flows into the Bay of Bengal. The Godavari River, which is 1,415 kilometers long, is the longest river of the Deccan Plateau. It is also called as the Ganga of the South. It flows across through three states, Maharashtra, Andhra Pradesh and Telangana. The river rises on the western ghats in the Nasik district of Maharashtra. It flows for several kilometers through a very deep gorge and reaches the city of Nasik. Godavari is a very sacred or holy river of India. The major bathing festival which is called as Pushkar or Kumela, Mela is celebrated on its banks. It is also called as the Ganga of the South as the river flows across three states Maharashtra, Andhra Pradesh and Telangana. It's a very long river. Godavari is an east flowing river. Its mouth is towards the Bay of Bengal where it drains. The Dharna, Parvara, Manjara, Pranhita and Indravati are the most important tributaries of Godavari. Now let's talk about Krishna River. Krishna River is a Deccan River. It is the third longest river after Ganga and Godavari. The other name of Krishna is Krishna Veni. Krishna River rises from Mahabaleshwar hills and flows eastwards and also towards the south into the Bay of Bengal. Bhima River is its largest tributary and the other tributaries are Koina, Tungabhadra, Varna, Panchaganga and Dudha Ganga. Now let's talk about the Kaveri River. Kaveri River in the southern India is called as the Ganga of the South. It rises or originates from the Kurk district of Karnataka. It is also an eastern flowing river and enters the Bay of Bengal region. It has several rapids and waterfalls along its course. At Siv Sundaram, this is a region where it plunges or falls from a height of 100 meters and forms the famous Siv Sundaram Falls. It also has a large delta in Tamil Nadu before it flows into the Bay of Bengal region.